Hello everyone, uh, wish you a very good day. It's Jay here and uh, today in this video I'm going to talk about the kinetic energy recovery system which is very uh, interesting topic and has its own importance because it focuses on the utilization of waste energy in a very productive form. Now to illustrate you the this kinetic energy recovery system, uh, I have a flywheel bicycle out here. This is my design engineering project. Now. Uh, to learn about the whole system working we must know the system components so let's have a deeper look over it now there is a mean flywheel system a chain and sprocket system uh, which is used for the transmission of kinetic energy from rear wheel to fly wheel, main flywheel system and from main flywheel system to the rear wheel system now this chain sprocket system consists of a smaller sprocket uh, which is of 13 teeth and a larger sprocket which is of 41 teeth and uh, this uh, larger sprocket is connected rigidly with the uh, rear wheel uh, with the help of some uh, bolt and nut and washer now coming to the mean flywheel system it consists of an axle rigidly placed on this uh, modified frame with the help of some screws and connectors and this uh, uh, modified frame is rigidly connected with the mean frame of the system uh, to give the support to the mean flywheel system now this, uh, this mean flywheel system uh, includes the chief element of the flywheel now this flywheel is nothing but a massive plate uh, massive blade of uh, he he heavy weight of heavy weight. Now this flywheel uh, has a mass characteristic value on the virtue of which it uh, stores the energy in the form of kinetic energy and releases it when required. Now there is a flange uh, which is rigidly connected to the clutch plate uh, with the help of some screws and adhesive materials. Also there is a sprocket with uh, the also the there is the small sprocket which is rigidly uh, welded with the flange. Now there is a came designed for the movement of this whole clutch plate and flange uh, so that the clutch plate gets engaged to the flywheel now to support the uh, cam movement there is a spring uh, brake wire and a lever also we can uh, say that this is a clutch wire uh, because it uh, applies for the uh, movement of this uh, engagement and disengagement and not the braking so now uh, when I will press this lever uh, as you can see the spring will help uh, the cam to move uh, to move this uh, uh, to move this flange and uh, clutch plate arrangement in in, a, in the forward direction towards the flywheel so that uh, the clutch plate gets engaged to the flywheel and transmits the motion from rear wheel to flywheel and now uh, when I release this uh, lever the clutch plate and the uh, flange will move back to its original position now uh, let's see the working of this whole system okay so now let's get the cycle work so, okay so now I will pedal the cycle and as you can see the flywheel is not rotating and when I press the lever the plate gets engaged to the flywheel and transmits the motion to the flywheel and now I'm going to release this pedaling or stop and now I will apply the brake to stop the motion of the and as you can see the flywheel is rotating on the uh, ball bearing and I will apply the clutch again and as you can see there is a small push or boost or an acceleration provided to the pendle uh, for, uh, with the help of this chain and sprocket system so in conclusion we learn that uh, if this system is applied on this on this uh, in the bicycles uh, we, uh, the movement gets convenient uh, after uh, reducing the speed uh, when we when we want to re uh, increase the speed after uh, after reducing some after reducing the motion this system helps uh, in the smooth movement of the pedals so now also we conclude that if uh, the improvements in these designs are made the efficiency and the effectiveness of the system can be increased uh, so for example 
if this clutch blade arrangement is uh, replaced with the two sprocket system the system gets more effective and uh, the efficiency increases so uh, the uh, also uh, the system can be improved uh, by using some electromechanical uh, arrangement uh, using some pcbs and boost button and some batteries so uh, we conclude that this system uh, can be improved if some uh, focus is uh, the if some focus is made on some the whole designs uh, and uh, improvement can be uh, uh, done if the system is replaces with the proper with the proper uh, components system components so th that's all i have to say uh, thank you